Uh, one of the questions that I consistently ask, I'm kind of a one-trick pony, I guess, and it may be the same question that I ask over and over again. And the question is, what do you want? Um, try to imagine, do you think I care what you want? Nah. Uh, if you can imagine anybody else but you caring what you want, then you have a bigger imagination than mine. Uh, years ago, I was doing a class. I did a preview, which I like to do. I do a preview so people can see whether they really don't want to do a class with me. But a man came to the class. He'd done the preview, and he did his homework, which I didn't give him any. And he came, and when I said, what do you want? He started laughing. He said, <laughs> I'm prepared for this. And he reached into his back pocket, and he got out a list. And it was single-spaced, and there was three or four pages, double-sided. And I said, and? He said, well, I'm going to read to you what I want. I'm thinking, okay. And he got about on the 15th or 20th thing, mostly material, uh, some spiritual things, I think, but mostly material. And it was so tedious and boring, I thought I was going to die. And then when I didn't, I was really kind of upset. But what I pointed out to the room, I said to the room, I said, okay, what do you notice in him? What do you notice in the man who's reading this list? Is he getting more vital or less vital? Is he getting more curious or less curious? And everybody agreed to a T, less, less curious, less vital. I asked the question to stimulate curiosity, to see if we can take you to curiosity. If we can't take you there, I ask you another question. Once you get there, to that point of curiosity, there should be an immense amount of paradox and confusion. Because what you want is meaningless. Set your goals, set your life, but live your life, for heaven's sakes. Don't live it trying to get what you want, because you don't know what you want. If I ask you today what you want, you will tell me one thing. If I ask you tomorrow what you want, you will tell me something else. And it's always changing, and it's always fluent, and it's fluid, and it's always wrong. So the reasoning for my questions is to see, can I get you de to default into a more efficient way of living? Can I get your biological computer to go to the pristine operating system where life is more fun, more trusting, more innocent, there's more happiness? where you can see the beauty on the planet. What do you want is meaningless, and yet I will continue to ask the question. Not to listen to the answer, because I've trained myself not to listen. I will pay attention to see what changes in you. And if the changes are sufficient enough and big enough, then everybody in the room will notice it, and we'll be able to point out, oh, wait a minute, now you're out in curiosity. Now you have the possibility to move into the pristine operating system on your own, which is valuable. And if I can show you how to do it on your own in a repetitive way, then you can repeat it and do it on your own. That, to me, is value, because from there, anything is possible and perfection exists.